Bowl. Well done. What do you think? Thinking of the shape you just made with your body, what do you think that symbol is meant to be? Yes. Good girl. It's meant to be the bowl. Fear testing. In science, we have to measure. Just as in maths, if you wanted to build a house or something like that, and you thought, oh, we're going to go and get myself some bricks and want to be this high. You don't just say, hmm, how high do you want it? And you think, hmm, how about this high? That's no use to anyone. You have to be precise and you have to measure. So is anybody here, can anybody predict a way that we can actually measure brightness? One of the things I really, really like about this um, site, it comes up with a really brilliant way of testing for brightness. Totally amazing. We've got A. Make three circuits and leave them on, then see how long the batteries last. Or should we make the circuit with one bulb, test it then add the second bulb, test it then add the third bulb, and test it? Or should we make the three circuits separately and compare how bright the bulbs are? Because, um, because um, the power is how much power. Right, so you're saying the power is staying the same each time, but each time the power has got more work to do. Because instead of just lighting up one, it's then got to light up two, it's then got to light up three. So each time more, the same amount of power is having to be used up on more things. The wires, the bulbs, everything that you put into a circuit makes more, here comes this big important word, who would like to say it for me? Makes more, more resistance. We've made a prediction here, together we made the prediction that A was going to be the one that would have the brightest bulb. It says, your prediction, you predict that the bulb on its own in a circuit will be the brightest. Same, except for the one thing that you're trying to test. 